Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome finally to my review of the brand new plushies by Funko. And this time around, they made Curse of Dreadbear plushies of Jacko Chica, Jacko Bonnie, Grim Foxy, and Dreadbear. I know I'm a bit late to this, but freaking look at these guys. Of course, I had to review them the second I got them. So, if you want to see my review of the action figures and the Captain Foxy plushie and figure when I get them, make sure you hit a like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, tell me, what do you think about these plushies in the comments down below? Do you think they're good? Do you think they're bad? What do you think? So before we hop into the plushies themselves, I want to take a look at this box. Because, and I mean this truly, this is probably the best plushies display box they've ever had for FNAF. I mean, it just, it looks so good. And it's so well themed around Curse of Dreadbear 2. Right, you have the Jacko Chica and Jacko Bunny pumpkins up at the top. Of course, FNAF, the Curse of Dreadbear. And then again, right down here, Curse of Dreadbear, FNAF, plushies, Funko. Here's the side of the box. Again, just, just look at the pumpkins. I love it. The back of the box is kind of the same as the top. And then here's the other side. Bottom is kind of boring. And here's the inside. It just looks looks so good, and it's so well themed around the DLC Curse of Dreadbear. It's so, so fantastic. And I know it's stupid to say that about a box when we literally have four plushies to go over right now, so let's talk about them. And let's start off with Jacko Bonnie, originally from the Halloween update of FNAF 4, but has now kind of been rebranded into a staple of the Curse of Dreadbear characters. And while I am showing it off, the tags on the plushies are just so, so fantastic. As a fair warning, I'm usually pretty positive when it comes to FNAF merchandise. Yeah, I'm just not usually the biggest person when it comes to crapping on merchandise. As long as it's not whatever the freak these things were, I'm usually pretty positive. So going back to Jack O'Bonnie, I am quite the fan of this plushie. I know some people aren't the biggest fan of the mouth because it seems like it could go on the twisted characters instead of the typical, the typical plasticky mouths that the Nightmare plushies have. Also, hey Nightmare Foxy, it's been a bit. He likes to chill out in the chair. Yeah, I honestly don't mind the mouth. I really do like the bow tie he's got going on. I think overall, the details on these plushies are pretty phenomenal. I think there is some printed on color going on here. Oh yeah, look at that. But it honestly doesn't seem that bad, and because there is a whole lot of detail on the plushies, I can kind of understand why this printed on color. Like, taking a look at the belly and the legs, they have a lot of detail going on. Also, up here on the face, they even have the crack in his head going all the way around. The ears, I'm not the biggest fan of. They, they feel a bit strange. I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but I'm pretty sure they made it that way so they stand upright. Because if you try and bend them, they go right back up. But yeah, overall, a pretty solid plushie. I know some people don't like the Jacko plushie but I, I freaking love it. And speaking of Jackos, let's move along to Jacko Chica. Same tag as always. And this one, I can definitely see where the complaints come in. I mean, just look at that side profile. <laughs> but honestly, again, I, I kind of enjoy this plushie as well. I think the head of my plushie looks a bit weird, but that might just be my plushie. I do like the, the small little feathers at the top. Maybe a little bit too small, but it is a nice touch. And once again, the detail on the stomach and the bib is so well done. The little toes too. I think Toy Chica has the same toes. And then you move on to the mouth, right? Now, there is no Nightmare Chica plushie, so they kind of had to wing it with the Jacko Chica plushie. So it seems like they took a lot of influence from the Twisted Chica plushie, which, again, I think is fine. I think some people don't like the mouth, but honestly, I think it looks really funny. And it gives that plushie this kind of uniqueness that I, I kind of appreciate in plushies. They do have this, like, sunburst effect going on with their eyes, but I think mine's missing one right there, or it's just not on the plushie. I don't know why it's not on the plushie, but... I think the, the sunburst effect is, is, it's done pretty well. There's not really much you can do to represent, you know, glowing, you know, the Jacko lantern effect of the Jacko characters. So I think the way they tried to execute it with them works all right, I guess. Again, I'm pretty positive and optimistic when it comes to FNAF merchandise, so I'm sorry if you think these are bad, but I honestly don't really have a problem with them. I think they're kind of cute. I will say Jacko Chica's missing her pumpkin, which is fine because even Chica was missing the cupcake. Now, I don't have the normal cupcake, but I do hope sometime in the future we can get the Jacko Lantern pumpkin as a plushie. I don't know, it could be some like GameStop exclusive. I just think having the pumpkin would be quite funny. And now we move on to Grim Foxy. I see a lot of mixed reviews on this guy, and once again, I like him. I'm a huge, 
huge fan of Corn Maze and Grim Foxy. In fact, I hold the world record for the fastest time in Corn Maze. And so I've spent a lot of time with Grim Foxy. I've grown accustomed to this guy, and I think they executed his plushy form pretty well. The ears should be completely endoskeleton-y, but eh, it's whatever. And the mouth. Again, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I find it more funny than anything else. And so I think it's kind of, you know, it's whatever. I think the mouth is fine. And once again, the detailing on the body is insane. Funko, you did such a great job with the detailing. Even if they have to do some printed on color, I'm fine with it. Thankfully, these plushies are made of a different and much better material than the security breach plushies. They even gave him a little hook to represent his giant, um, you know, like scythe or sickle, whatever it's called. And I think that's awesome. Again, these plushies are very unique, which I think may be why I like them so much. He's even got the endoskeleton legs and again, just the detail on this guy. Insane Funko. And now the final plushie until we get Captain Foxy, which I think he releases in October. So again, subscribe if you don't want to miss that. The final plushie for today, and in my opinion, the best plushie for today is Dreadbear. Funko, I don't know how you did it, but this is fantastic. This might be my favorite plushie, or at least one of my favorite plushies. They captured the character of Dreadbear so well. I know some people don't like the eyes and the mouth, but again, it just, it looks so funny. He looks so cute. I freaking love it. And even looking at the stomach, they did such a good job. Yeah, look at that. They did such a good job with the stitching. Unfortunately, I think this leg is printed on color, but they added on the bolts. You can see his pointed ears, the top hat. It's such a good plushie, guys. They even got stitching behind the bow tie. Bro. Yeah, I think his face is fine. I know some people don't like it, and I can see where they're coming from, but honestly, he just looks so funny. He looks so adorable. And look at the detail on this ear. I honestly think this wave is a very good wave. Again, I've heard mixed reviews on especially the Jacko characters, mostly Chica and Bonnie, a little bit of Grim Foxy as well. And again, honestly, I think this wave is so, so well done, and I can't wait to see what else they have planned. As I mentioned, I will be making a review video on the Captain Foxy figure and plushie when I get them, as well as the rest of the Curse of Dreadbear action figures. So tell me, what do you think of this wave in the comments down below? I believe our next wave comes sometime in January or April, which is going to be FNAF Air skins. I think that was leaked a little bit ago. So tell me, what do you think about the wave in the comments? down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.